We're on this hillside in north central Pennsylvania uh, checking on a female black bear in her winter den. I'm Mike Hooker, a bear biologist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. This is a uh, collared female black bear. She was collared about a year ago. She is part of a mange study. Um, I first encountered this bear in March of 2019. She was extremely mangy, had very little body weight. Um, at that point, uh, the PhD student, Hannah, came in and helped me collar her. We treated her at that time also and released her back into the wild. That's roughly what the size was. Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's going to it's probably going to be something more like this. Wow. Hi, I'm Hannah Tiffin and I'm a PhD student at Pennsylvania State University. I'm here studying mange in black bears in Pennsylvania, looking at how sarcoptic mange affects movement in black bears. So we came out to the den today to see if this bear had cubs and also to do an overall health assessment and download data from the collars that we can only get when we're here with the bear. This study started in April 2018 and it will go on for um, three years total. We're in year two of this study right now. We collected several different samples today. Some of those are skin scrapes where I scrape the ear and on a mange bear, I'd be looking for mites that are in that sample. On healthy bears, we're, we might be using them for some other things that could be in the skin or as healthy controls. We also take blood from all bears in the den checks and that's no different with the mange bears. We'll run some of those samples back at Penn State, the whole blood and the serum and others of those blood samples will go with the game commission and be archived for future uses. Um, we're also screening bears that are healthy controls in the dens for their exposure to mange in the environment through blood. And lastly, we do an overall health assessment looking at their body condition, their skin condition, and their hair loss. And as you can see today, she's beautiful, nice black coat and put some weight on and she's very healthy today. So she's sedated during the process. When we're done, we replace the den back as best we can and she'll emerge in the spring. Thank you for tagging along on a bear den with us.